It has been 30 years since the All-Star Game was here, Ryan. What should people be most excited about? That it well, is? I think pretty much everything's changed. Mm -hmm. Like, absolutely everything. Yeah. I mean, we're one of the fastest growth states in the country. We, ha we have been. Um, and, like, when I was a kid, like, I grew up here. I went to the All-Star Game. I went to Jam Session. Oh. Didn't, go, didn't go to the game. Went to Jam Session. So the first thing when they said the All-Star Game's coming back, I was like, we have to bring Jam Session. Yes. So yes, there's, it's like there's a full basketball convention going on. And the one thing that has stayed consistent is this state is a hoop state. Yep. Like, that's what we care about. That's what we're, we're all about. And... It's, it's going on. Yeah, and you have one of your, your own, Lowry Markkinen, in the All-Star game this year, which is so exciting. And Lowry, yesterday, when he was asked about why he started playing, who he was watching, he, he actually said you. He did? Yeah, he said that you were the person, Whoa, bro, the, the highlights that. that he was one watching. One in a row. Yeah. Oh, oh, that. <laughs> what does that mean to you? Well, I mean, it means I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first, but uh, second, just to, you know, to, to come in day one of training camp and watch this young man. Yeah. Uh, we all had high hopes, and we didn't yeah. know that it would be it would end in an all-star nod. And so for the city of Utah, for the state of Utah, uh, for this young man who had a very good summer, and you see the work he put in, uh, his teammates, this is this is a Utah award, you know, a middle season award yep. for the Utah state. So I'm, I'm happy for him. Yeah, no, for me, it was one, thank you for bringing back Jam Session. When the, the All-Star game was yeah. in Phoenix, I played in the three-on-three -three contest in the Jam yep. Session in Phoenix. It was amazing. It was awesome. So that's dope that you have it back. You are old. Let's just establish that. Like, you, like we are, like, of the same age. But my, my thing for, you know, the people that aren't familiar with Utah. I played here, so I yeah. understand this fan base. Will you explain to them why the Utah Jazz just has a stranglehold and why they love this team so much? Are the fans in, in, in this state love the team so much? Well, someone explained to me about this. Like, when you go into another, when another city, it's like, oh, like, you might be in Chicago and the Lakers come in town. It's like, oh, it's a Lakers game. Mm -hmm. It's always a jazz game here. Mm -hmm. It's all about the jazz. I think we have 230 straight sellouts. Now, think about it. Wow. 230 straight sellouts, that's a lot of different teams and a lot of different moments. And, yeah. and I would say this year is probably, I mean, we took over two years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I think this team's probably a little different than the other ones. But the fan base is still there. They see it. They know. They know it. They know basketball. They know basketball. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, it's just a huge opportunity. And then I think the one thing that people don't talk about is when I grew up, I grew up 35 miles south from here. Mm. And when I would drive up to Salt Lake, there was a huge gap. There was like city and then farmland and then city. It's all connected. Mm -hmm. And we have, we have 40 miles south, 40 miles north, 250,000 college kids. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. And so we're the youngest population, one of the fastest growing, young, the youngest state in the country. Mm -hmm. wow. And you add all that together, and with the tech energy that's come here, like, it's a totally different spot than it was even 10 years ago. And I think you're seeing that, which, I mean, w what's showing up here within the city. Y'all see his passion? Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it. Well, yeah. And, and this is one of the, the things that, like, when I remember playing here, we were not very yeah. good. It was in a bit, of, yeah. a bit of a rebuild year. But I remember Tyrone Corbin said, he's like, hey, look. The Jazz fans, they don't care if you win 60 games or if you win 16. If you, well, I would up, argue a little bit. Like, <laughs> no, no, it's a compliment. This is a compliment. It's more of that if you show up and play the right way, they're intelligent enough yeah. to know, like, hey, we have a young team or we're in a rebuilding phase. So as long as you bring it every day, and that was the one thing I took from playing here, this how intelligent the basketball fans were, yep. but also how supportive. Some teams you get down by 20, you in Philly, they're going to start they're going to you. you. Here, they'll, like, encourage you. They'll start cheering you. They'll start rallying around you, and that's not something that you find a lot of places well, yeah. and one of the things that's happened is like we've connected the state so like if you go like 25 miles um east of here is park city mm -hmm. and the ski one of the one of the i mean there's seven ski resorts up there those people are now coming into jazz games when they come into utah they're like i'm in utah i'm going to a jazz game right yep. and it's like that's that's a cool part because we have seven million people that come here to ski mm -hmm. a year. Well, this is not a small market mm -hmm. yeah no. at, at all yeah yeah, so it's been great. So, so Danny Ainge drafted me, right? Uh oh. So, uh oh. Right, so no, I, he's only told me that so a thousand times. I know times, that right? when we was talking, yeah, yeah. when we was talking before the show, you was like, "Oh, Da keep telling me about this the perch stores." Now he had KG, Paul, Ray, but he tell he talking about me. <laughs> they tell you about the levels of role players. Everything. But I want to know this. I want to know this though. Okay. I want to know this. Okay. Boy. Tell me what he's meant to the organization and how, like, y'all relationship behind the scenes for us, you know, getting a plan together and things to that nature about the direction so, of the so organization. We'll, we'll get to the organization, but for me personally, like, when I, I found my love for the NBA, like, is, I was a fan, but, like, 
I used to fly to summer league and sit with DA because mm -hmm. we used to battle on the golf course mm -hmm. and he took interest in me and he would just let me sit there and I would just listen to him watch games. And like the more that happened, the more I was like, oh my word, like I'm, I'm, I'm sold. Yeah. Like this is what I want to do. But, and even when the chance came to take over the team, mm -hmm. I remember calling DA and just picking his brain through this. Like, are you really ready to go do this? This is a massive commitment, your family, everything. What's it like? How do you raise kids? Like all these things. I never dreamed that I would be in a spot to be able to work with him. Mm. That's awesome. And so for me to have someone who's been in the league 46 years now, Dang. as a player, yep. a coach, it yeah. and running the Celtics, Incredible. to be able to come and almost mentor myself. We've got a great team with Justin um, and, and a young coach and Will, and then with D and, and our group, like, it's been, I, I don't know, you've, you've seen it as well. I, I, mean, I don't, it's no other um, group like it right now. I mean, I think this is, you know, just like this All-Star, I think this All-Star is going to set up what Indiana do and what the next cities do. And I feel like this ownership group and kind of, you know, what we are and how young we are, I think it's going to set up what it looks like, you know, going forward. I mean, you know, most of the owners are in their 70s. And, yeah. and so we're in our 40s. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're in like, our 40s. Like right. So I think we're yeah. setting up what the future looks like. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.